In this video I will show how to configure an MQTT client in RapidSCADA to receive data from an MQTT broker. MQTT is a modern and popular communication protocol. There is the MQTT broker in the network and many MQTT clients which can publish data and subscribe to receive new data. We need the MQTT Explorer application, which is downloaded from this website, and two useful links that contain example of rapid scatter configuration. Start the administrator application and create a new project. Add a new communication line. and a new device. Choose the MQTT client device type. After that open the line properties and choose the communication channel type. We will use the public MQTT broker and other parameters are default. Open the device properties to add subscriptions. And the first subscription will read simple numeric parameter. The second subscription uses JavaScript to parse JSON packets. We need to specify sub items if we use JavaScript. Of course, we have to create the JavaScript file to parse data. Copy the file contents from the example. And save. Now we can create channels. And create a view to display data in the web interface. Double click the node and add the device. Specify the folder and the view file in the views table. Upload the project for execution. Check the communication line. In the log we can see that we successfully connect to the MQTT broker and subscribed to the topics. Open the web interface. The web application is starting. 
username is admin and password is scada. Run another MQTT client. I already created a connection using the same address and other parameters are default. Connect to the broker and publish data using the same parameter names as we created. You can see the data is changed in the web interface in the background. And the next step is sending a JSON packet for the second parameter. You can see that the JSON parsed successfully as specified by our JavaScript file. JSON is quite flexible. You can send and receive different data parsing JSON packages. Now you know how to get data using MQTT client. Thank you.